Hey there everybody, Mr. Deary here, and today we're going to talk about the Axis Paragraph Body Format. Axis is going to be used primarily for persuasive writing. Given the way that it's structured and set up, to help prove and push an idea rather than to break it down. So while appeal is gonna be used more for rhetorical analysis and synthesis, access is gonna be used, like I said, primarily for persuasion, uh, persuasion, excuse me. So we have four elements of the axis. We have the assertion, the A, and then it's one of those dumb acronyms where you don't use the first letter, but then we have the X, ample, and then we have the explanation and the significance. So. Real quick here, the assertion. This is where you're going to state, a, and this is important here, a specific arguable point. This isn't just some broad idea like abortion is bad or that we should increase funding for the Postal Service, but rather much more specific than that. We should increase money for the Postal Service in order to help maintain local economies, um, business. So, like, we're getting into a, a more finite, um, uh, measurable way of looking at this. Um, so instead of having all the options that we're looking at here, we're dialing it down to some very specific ones. Um, and this should always connect back to your overarching thesis. You can have a larger thesis there, but this is going to be one of the sub points. We're going to like an outline that's going to lead into its own section. So you want to start off with an assertion. Excuse me. After you make your assertion, then you need to provide the evidence to help prove that assertion. What shows that you're right or what shows that the uh, opposing position is wrong? You're trying to find the bread and butter supports here that are going to make this all work for you. Now, the next step is the most important because my guess is most of you are able to make basic claims and you've been able to provide evidence, but where all of these paragraphs typically fall apart is in the explanation. You can't, no matter how intuitive or obvious, put a claim and a piece of evidence next to each other and go, see? You have to say, here's my claim, here's my evidence, and here's how it works. Here's why it works. You have to explain that. You have to clarify that. You have to go into detail and make sure that you're elaborating in such a way that it makes it painfully clear to your reader what the connection is. You want to leave nothing up to chance because if you leave those things unstated directly, then I have to do some of the mental footwork and I might not come to the same conclusions. So you want to talk through your thought process. You want to break things down. And then finally, after you've done that, you need to tie it into the significance. So what? So what? Why should as a reader I care? And I know this is a common thing you've probably heard before, but instead of going like, well, it's because it's important. If you're making an assertion that there's a problem, and here's the evidence to show that problem, and here's how this evidence is, is demonstrating that problem, what's going to happen if we ignore that problem? If you're trying to make a claim that something needs to be done for people, what will happen if we don't do that for those people? If you're trying to prove that an organization is bad or it's a bloated bureaucracy that needs to be gutted, what happens if we don't? What could happen if we do? Take us to the end goal of your assertion. If we do this, what could happen? What will happen? What should happen? That's what that significance is going to be. And if you can do that, you're taking a much, much, much deeper approach into your argument and giving us a line of reasoning from here's my claim, here's my evidence, here's the explanation, and here's what it means for you at the end. So I hope this short little overview of Axis was helpful. If you have any further questions, please let me know. There's additional resources here, especially the one from Thurgood College uh, that is just uh, Thurgood Marshall College, excuse me, that's just an outstanding one-page overview that I'll make available for you as well. With any case, have a great rest of your day. Thanks a bunch. Oop.